Okay, so that was attempt number one. Um, there are zero 64 gig models available at that store. There are zero white models available. There are zero gold models. They only have black 32 on AT&T and black 32 on Sprint. That's all they have left. Uh, it's 1.09 p.m. Slept in, avoided the rain. Probably had more this morning. I did order online. I ordered my black 64 online uh, this morning at 3.05 a.m., but I thought I would try to go about getting one today, release day. So, step one failed. I'm going to go try an AT&T store. I really have very low expectations of that, but why not? Why not? So, we'll give that a shot as well. Okay, step two, got over to the AT&T store, went inside, there's practically nobody there, which is either really good news or really bad news. Talked to a rep, they said they have a few 5S's left, and they're all black 32's. So I failed. I spent like two hours out here driving all over the place, and the 64 doesn't exist. There's no whites and there's no golds, so there's very limited availability of the 5S this year, which I suppose sucks. Okay, so we got gas. I put in exactly 18.000 gallons. The gas tank in this car is 18.1 gallons with a small reserve. I don't know if that's included in 18.1 or not. Figure you'll get a different view this way than uh, out on the road because there's just traffic. Not so much here, but everywhere today I have been sitting and waiting through several light changes. It's been pretty miserable driving all over the place, especially since I didn't even get what I wanted. But whatever, I ordered it. It's in the mail, the delivery. Uh, I think they estimated between the 25th and the 27th, which I believe is um, this upcoming Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. So that's not too bad. I can get through a weekend and a couple classes. Hey, I've made it the last 52 weeks on a, uh, on a five. And I remember vividly getting that. I remember filming a clip on 59 right in front of uh, Kent State Andrew Patton Airport there. Um, filming both my white 4S and my white 5, so yeah, cool, cool stuff, it's 84, still hot, and now my windshield is filthy with bugs, so I'm going to go home, clean up the front of the car, wheels are probably black with brake dust, so uh, what a waste of resources. Check out this park job here, that's a Benz, we watched this woman pull in directly ahead of me, puts it right in between the lines, it's unlocked, this is how it's done. You're doing it wrong. We're home now. It's 12.34 in the morning. I'll flip on some lights and I'll show you what we're going to be working on tomorrow. Grandfather's going to come over here at 9 instead of me going over there. And if you remember months ago, I had this taken in for service to figure out why it starts really hard and then runs like hell when it starts. And there's two issues. Number one, it needs a head gasket. Here it is. There's a few other gaskets on there too for, I think, the intake. I don't know. We'll figure that out when we take it apart. Uh, so that would that would make it run better once it gets going. And why it isn't starting very well is the carburetor. I got all these little things I got to put in the carburetor. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, uh, but you know we'll figure it out. So I've already taken the air cleaner off, which was here. I took the gas tank off. There's the gas tank uh, line, and there are those parts there. Air cleaner is fairly clean. I checked the spark gap, and I do have spark. Uh, obviously just flipped the switch, disconnected it and left it out of the cylinder and then pulled the ripcord and uh, I do have spark, so that's good. So what do you need for an engine? You need spark, fuel, air, and compression. So I have spark, I have fuel, I have air. My issue is compression and then the stuff with the carburetor and the compression should be fixed with the gasket. I'll let you listen here. And here they, they said it's technically warped, um, but replacing the gasket should fill up, fix up the gap enough so it it has at least better compression. I don't need this thing a whole lot, but I do I do want it to work. So I guess tomorrow we're gonna figure out how to take it apart and uh, and get that done. But I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna run in and take a shower. That's gonna be it for today. Uh, I don't really know what else we did. Kind of came back here watched like 20 minutes of some movie that was done and that's it so all right talk to you on saturday